Hey, I'm Anne, owner of Champagne and Stars Event Decor. Welcome to And I Like Large Parties. Join me as I chat with amazing women business owners in the events industry, some that I've worked with and some that I can't wait to work with. We'll be sipping cocktails while discussing their passions, hurdles, and accomplishments. You're going to love it. Thanks for listening. All right. So I am here today with the party girls, Kayla and Madison. Hi. Hello. Thank you so much for having me over. Yes. yes. All right. I was really excited to talk to you because I think of all of the businesses that I've interviewed, I think yours comes the closest to what I actually do. Yeah. So I really wanted to sit down and, and you know, kind of chat with you about how things are going and challenges and just kind of compare notes. So I'd like to open the podcast by letting my guests know that um, I'm going to ask you to come up with a cocktail, or it could be a mocktail, some kind of a signature drink that you feel embodies who you two are, what your business is all about, and at the end of the podcast, I'll give you some time to think about that, and at the end, (laughs) we'll come back to it, and you can tell me what that drink is, or you could do two drinks, because you're you're, you're (laughs) two two people, so that's fine. (laughs) Okay, so why don't we start with you telling me who you are, and, and just how you got into this business. Okay. You want to go first? Sure. Yeah. We're the party girls. <laughs> uh, sisters. I love that. And um, Madison lived in Pittsburgh uh, for about six years and what, two years ago? A year and a half, two years ago. Yeah. Moved down. Um, we were raised in Delaware and okay. I stayed because I met my husband and we got married. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then when she was in high school, my parents uh, went back up to Pittsburgh. We're originally from that area. Our family is. Okay. And um Anyway, when they ended up moving down here, um, I worked at a college where my contract was ending Mm -hmm. um, in the food service, Mm -hmm. Um, and Madison had her own business, and we just kind of talked about always wanting to do something together, and it was just perfect timing. So um, I knew I always wanted to do something in this industry, and Madison worked in the wedding industry as well, Mm -hmm. so we just came up with the party girls. Okay. So this is your second business. Yes. Yeah. So I in Pittsburgh, um, was a wedding makeup artist. So oh. I was a full time makeup artist there. Wow. Um, but wanted to be closer to family. Yeah. So we moved about two years ago here. And so okay. then that's why we started the party girls. Then. Okay. Yeah. So how is that working together? I have a sister. <laughs> she will sometimes help me. She'll come on jobs, but we're not partners. So yeah. what, right. what is, what's that like? Yeah. So, well, we're 10 years apart, okay. so it's a pretty big age gap. Yeah. So we like respect each other yeah. and we do pretty well working together. We oh, really yeah. don't get a, get into a lot of arguments, okay. have a lot of disagreements. So we're pretty, you know, well, I think what works is we're, I wouldn't say complete opposite, but we're opposite no, personalities. Yes. Yeah. And so I think we complement each other. Exactly. Yes. And yep. I know how I can be and she knows she right. can be so we're aware of that. <laughs> yeah. And we're sisters. So yeah. Yeah. That's something yeah. really nice. I, I I was talking to um her name is Gemma. She's a she has a female DJ agency, which is like mm. so cool. Yeah. But she just recently started bringing on help. And oh, hiring wow. people. And yeah. I was telling her, that's a challenge for me it's tough. because I, it, it's a trust issue. Yes. It's a control <laughs> issue. Yep. So this, this is so nice that you are family yeah. yes. because you just, in, there, there's that inherent trust and yes. understanding. Yeah. And yes. I, yes. I think that's wonderful. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. I completely trust Madison. Yep. I think vice versa. Like yeah. if something were to happen to me and I was sick or, you know, mm-hmm. yes. like where, if you think of running your business by right. yourself, like who would you leave that to? I couldn't even mm-hmm. imagine. So yeah, yeah I, it really oh, does work. That's really, really great yes. that you have yeah. each other. Yeah. So yes. why don't you tell us, tell me about the party girls. What okay. kinds of services do you offer? Yeah. Yeah. So it actually started with the white bounce houses. Okay. Yep. Um, we met a lady named Angela and she, we truly reached out to her because she was the only other person that we knew of at the time doing right. white bounce houses uh-huh. in Delaware. And coincidentally, she was looking to sell them and sell the business. Oh, that's like perfect time. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it out. just, it, we had other ideas, you know, event planning yeah, and, and right, things right. like that, but that's kind of what got it all kicked started. off and started. Okay. Um, and so from the white bounce houses, mm-hmm. what, how did you expand? Because I, I know just from following you on social media, mm-hmm. it seems like you're doing backdrops mm-hmm. and there's, you know, some other rentals, tablescapes. Yep. So yeah. how, how did you expand that? Yeah. So after we started doing the white bounce houses, we got a lot of inquiries about other things. Yeah. Um, and so we just kind of led with that, that, you know, we yeah. wanted to start doing the backdrops. Mm-hmm. We, Kayla was basically in the 
uh, event planning industry. Yeah. So yeah. we have that background. So we mm-hmm. really just evolved with right. that. And where do you keep everything? I know that's a struggle for me. (laughs) It's it's, the space. Yes. So do you have like storage or how are you managing all that? Actually here at our parents' house. Yes. Parents have a three car garage. Yeah. So one of those garages. Gotcha. For the party girls. Yes. Yes. Good parents. We are a very family oriented business. That's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, That's great. Um, So what would you say at the onset were some of the challenges with starting the business? Yeah. Um, mm. Starting the business, I don't know that there were too many challenges like with the party girls itself, so, mm-hmm. but just us learning the industry for owning your own business. Right. Yeah. right? I mean, I had right. done event planning for the last 16 years, so I felt very comfortable and confident. Mm-hmm. You know, our customer service, mm-hmm. we have no worries there. It was really just owning our own business in Delaware, you know, learning just all the logistics of that. Yeah, Yeah, really. And then found out really quickly that everybody in this industry has been very welcoming. Mm -hmm. And I think that put us at ease. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, how about now? So now that you've been doing this for how many years? It's going to be two years on August. Okay. So this is two years. Have there been any, just any challenges that have come up since you've been in business? Um, I don't, I don't think really challenges. I mean, cause what we do is pretty straightforward, yeah. you know, especially if they're just renting sure. a, a service. Right. Uh, I think the gray area that we're getting into lately is, yeah. is dealing with clients and I'm sure you can relate yeah. that hasn't, haven't necessarily booked yet. Right. And you know, we have no problem talking to clients yeah. and answering any questions mm-hmm. that they have. Right. Um, but sometimes we're learning, especially with like full service event planning, mm-hmm. there is a little bit of that gray area until they book us Yeah, where it's like, we want to help you and give you all the information that you want mm-hmm. in but, order to book us. Mm-hmm. But it, there's like that line that you have to draw before like we start working for you mm-hmm. <laughs> right. before you get a contract signed yeah. and, right. and, and, you know, yeah. deposit yes. paid. Yeah. Right. So like all the questions, I guess they ask that in that gray area right. of like, what we can really answer at yeah. that point. It's like, we can't start planning exactly everything. <laughs> it's so, it's think, so time consuming. I know yeah. for yes. me, you yes. know, someone right. reaches out to you, they want information about, mm-hmm. you know, this, you know, this rental, this yes. service, yes. whatever you start having that conversation. Mm-hmm. And I mean, you really become invested, right. especially if they have a lot of questions Yes, and you know, in the end, if they wind up ghosting you or exactly. not going yeah, with you, yes. it's, you know, <laughs> right. that's yeah. time you can't get back, yeah. but exactly. yeah, tr- trying to navigate how much time yes. do you invest? Yes. I Correct. totally understand yes. that because yeah. you, you, you do have to invest some time Absolutely. to try to get them yeah. to right. actually sure. book, right. For sure. but you don't want it to be a complete waste of your time in the end right. when they don't, you know? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Um, how about marketing? I know, I know for me, marketing is that that's a challenge yeah. from the beginning. And I, I still think it's a challenge. Yeah, I would say that is, I think we still are dealing like with what to market and where to market. Right. Cause mm. we know obviously social media is great, Yeah, but sometimes that's a full on job right I know it is. I know. itself. So it is great that there's the both of us to do all of that. So yeah. we do really brainstorm back and forth okay. what we think is the best to wear and how to market. So like what, what are some tips that you would have for somebody going into like social media Mm -hmm. for sure. I mean, Mm -hmm. I was just talking to uh, someone I know and they just started their own business and Mm -hmm. I was telling them, Hey, listen, social media is so important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're posting every couple of days that doesn't cut it. And that's right. not something I knew when I started. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what I've learned just from mm-hmm. talking to other people yeah. who, like you said, yeah. in this industry are very helpful. Yeah. You know, yes. you run yes. into yes. people who are very welcoming, very yes. helpful. Yes. Yes. And then you have others who are pretty guarded and, and closed some, off, yeah. you know, couple, yeah. but for the most part. And that <laughs> Every, was, a, that yeah. was a really helpful tip. Yes. So I, I passed that yeah. on to yes. a friend of mine. How, yeah. Like, so, so what are, what are some things that you're doing? What, what yeah. would you tell people to do yeah. to market? I mean, definitely with social media is to be consistent and always show Absolutely. up. Absolutely. And yeah. it helps with the both of us because we can keep each other accountable yes. and make right. sure we yeah. are always showing up for a business because it is, it's yeah. a 24 How, seven do you share the load of posting on social media. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, we talk every, every morning, day, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, we start the morning talking about yeah. what we're going to do. Yeah. And, and usually, you know, Monday's our day to kind of plan the week out. Gotcha. So yeah. we try to plan the social Smart. media. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Really? Yeah. Because obviously as Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know, come, then we're busy. So yeah, we take every morning, every Monday morning to plan the week out. And then we do touch base every morning. That's a good idea. And yeah, I mean, I would say 50, 50 Madison does hold a little bit more of the Mm -hmm. social media, um, website, you know, Mm -hmm. things of that nature. Um, she's just better at it. Yeah, that's good, right? I mean, <laughs> oh, you we, have each we, other to kind of divide and conquer. Absolutely. We definitely have strengths, you know, yeah, And it goes back to what you said take. about complimenting each other. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So what would you say are some of your, like, most popular items? I mean, it's it's getting, the weather is getting warm, yes. so will the bounce houses be, like, in demand? Is that... For sure, yes. yeah. Okay. And especially... You know, they're white. A lot of people, even as the years go on, that yeah. aesthetic they like. Sure. Mm-hmm. But I would say these backdrops with balloons yeah. were like a bigger hit than we even thought. We, we yeah, didn't expected, start with yeah. them. Same. Right. We started with the bounce mm-hmm. houses, event planning, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. things like that. Yep. Um, and there was a need for it. Mm-hmm. And we actually, um, it was a client that used us for the first time for a friend's giving. Mm-hmm. And she wanted a balloon arch and we hadn't done the money yeah. yet we had talked about it in the yeah. future but you know we basically were forced to do it and we loved it you figure it, was, it out it was right? easy and it turned yep. out great yep. and so then yep. now yeah. it's probably the most popular okay <laughs> yeah okay yeah. so what are some of your most popular events you know like weddings showers what is it that you think that you're doing the most of birthday parties yeah birthday. Kids, yes. kids kids birthday, birthday parties, parties. Yeah. yeah which we love yeah. it's fun yes those yeah. are first fun. birthday parties That's and you cute. know we have like that antique uh high chair okay. and, you yeah. know so it's cute the marquee numbers yeah um, so. what about like adults in the bounce house? Do you, f- do, do adults actually rent yes. that? Okay. Yes. yes. And for weddings. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah That's pretty cool. It. Yeah. So they're, they're very large. Okay. Um, yeah, they're and they're huge. open, which is really nice. Mm-hmm. They're not like, you know, your old school enclosed and you got to kind of sneak through yeah. right. <laughs> you know, that mesh. <laughs> yes. Um, so yeah, I mean, we have awesome pictures from one of our first weddings where we've got the groomsmen doing backflips. So yeah. You know, it's just, it's fun. Yeah. yeah. That is really yeah. cool. Yeah. And so you do the deliveries yourselves. Yep. We right. do. Yep. Yep. That's a struggle. So my husband yes. <laughs> will, so my husband will come along on, uh, you know, jobs where I, I, ones, I need yeah. a little bit yes. of, a little bit of help. <laughs> right. But, um, yeah, that's, it's a great service to provide and, mm-hmm. and people want that. I find that people don't want to pay for it sometimes. <laughs> like when they find out how much the delivery Travel, is, yep. but <laughs> you know, I mean, that's the cost. Yeah. Um, but it, it can be, yeah. Ugh, especially mm-hmm. when you have back to back events. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, yes. it gets a little bit, the weekends are yes. exhausting. I'm sure for, <laughs> they sure. Are for you too. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. so what are some of your, like, I don't know, events you're really, really proud of. They're just like your favorites. Do any come to mind? Yeah. I mean, there are a few weddings that we did yeah. that I will, we won't forget. You yeah. know, we made a connection with the bride and groom right. and mm-hmm. when people are just, really appreciative mm-hmm. and wowed by the experience that we give them. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. touching sure. and it makes it, you know, all worth it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I would definitely <laughs> say there are a few weddings that we've done that, okay. yeah. you know, stand out. And right. They've hired us for, she also had like a baby shower oh, yeah, that's true. and like throughout yeah. mm-hmm. being there throughout their special moments in life. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. That's special too. That's the yeah. best. Yeah. 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 And we stay with somebody from yeah. their wedding to their, like she said, baby shower yeah. and then yeah. birthday parties. It's, mm-hmm. it's fun. I think that was an unexpected thing for me. I just thought, okay, so I'm providing a service. Somebody rents the stuff. I do the job. And then that's, right. you know, I mean, we're, we're cordial and we're nice, obviously throughout the process, right. Right. but I didn't expect that some of the clients would mm-hmm. actually become friends. Friends, yeah. yeah. And the connections, you know, right. And, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you really do. I mm-hmm. mean, you're invested, they're invested, and it becomes a relationship. And like mm-hmm. you said, it leads to repeat um, yes. rentals events. Yeah. Yeah. and yep. events right. as yep. they move through the different you know stages mm-hmm. of their, their lives, which is pretty cool. Yes. Um, how about some favorite venues that you've done work at? Do you have any that come to mind? Do you do a lot of like, um, events in like backyards because of the bounce house thing? I would say the majority is in backyards, okay. but, um, the St. Anne's in Middletown. Okay. Anne's we club, use them. Yeah. I've seen them. Well, I haven't yeah. been there and I haven't done an event there, but, um, I've seen on social media. It looks like a nice place. Yeah. Yeah. It's a okay. nice place. Yeah. yeah. It was needed and it's, it's nice. Yeah. And, and the staff there is wonderful. Cool. Yeah. Where are you doing most uh, of the business? Is it like downstate, Middletown, Newcastle? Hmm. I mean, I feel honestly all over. Yeah. All over your yeah. Own. yeah. I would yeah. say it's almost 50-50. Okay. Yeah. You know, like Milford, uh, 
Lewis, Rehoboth, down yeah. that way, um, and then Wilmington, okay. Middletown, Middletown, you know, yeah. for sure. Gotcha. Yeah. And so are you both doing this full-time now? No. no. Okay. Not yet. Still have full-time jobs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the struggle, right? I yeah. Know. Yeah. I know. And honestly, to this point, I mean, we're not even two years old, and I don't really find it to be a struggle. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, it keeps us busy sure. on the weekends, right. don't get me wrong, but right. um, nothing that we can't handle. Yeah. Yeah. And I have a work from home job. So oh, that's perfect. Being then. able to do that and run this. Yeah. Really so that works, works out. out well. Yeah. yeah. And it really is fun for us to yeah. do it. It is. Really not a chore, even though it yeah. is 24 yeah. 7, which we knew that, you know, going into it. Sure. It really is. We find it rewarding. It's kind yeah. of like an adventure, too, right? Yeah. Like you just, you don't it really is. know. And, and, even though it's stressful when something is not going as you thought, you, right. you have to pivot. So yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't know. In the end, you can like sit back and go, Whoo, wow. Like, yeah. we, we did we it. We made it work. We did that, right? Yeah, right. There's yeah. been a few events like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And you learn from those. Yes, you do. I yes. think that yeah. that's what we've learned the most yes. is, you know, some events aren't what you expect them right. to be. Yeah. Yeah. And we learn from those. Yeah. And it really gives us some tips for the future when we're booking events and questions to ask and and things of that nature. Yeah. Yeah. I think that continues for me to be one of the challenges just of, of having a business Mm -hmm. is thinking that you have it all figured out and then something happens. You're like, God, like I, I really thought that I, I checked off all the (laughs) boxes for this. So it's just a constant growing and learning process, which, you know, can be stressful in the moment, but then in hindsight, when you sit back and you look, mm-hmm. you're like, oh, okay, well, yeah. th- this is part of it, right? It's right, part yeah. of the journey. Mm-hmm. Um, who can, can you give me like some influential people in, in your life? People that are supportive, have been supportive, continue to be supportive. Obviously you have each other. Mm-hmm. So that goes without saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how about some other folks in your life that fulfill that role? I would say definitely our family. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. people close to us, mm-hmm. um, my fiance, you know. Everyone in our family is very helpful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now you have children. We were talking, yeah. right? How many kids do you have? Two. You have two, two. little ones. And you yeah. don't have any kids. No. All right. Nope. So you're, but you're getting married. Yes. When are you getting married? We're getting married next year. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's exciting. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Um, so as a mom, right? So you're working, you've got mm-hmm. your own business, mm-hmm. you, you, you know, you've got kids. Mm-hmm. That, that can be, I know for me, it's a little bit difficult to, yeah. you know, to navigate, um, so c- could you like yeah. speak on that or is there anything, that yeah. you, any advice you could give to someone that's in your, in your position? Um, well, we are really blessed because like Madison said, we have our family. Right. I have my family and my husband's family here in Delaware. So his grandmother helps out. Our mom helps out. That's great. Um, my husband and I both have busy weekend jobs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um, you know, we just communicate with each other on, mm-hmm. you know, what we're doing with work. the girls. We do. We make it work, but then we have family for when we need them. Yeah. Um, and this is a family business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, we couldn't do it without our family's help. Yeah. Our, our parents, our spouses, and the girls, they love it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. they think they own bounce houses. Yeah. And, you know, They're the little party balloons, girls. They, yeah, yeah, our little party girls there. And what a wonderful example, you know, that you're setting for them too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that that's, you know, I'm starting to really sit with that and realize um, just for myself with my own kids, I, you know, they're watching me, you know, I left a career, started something completely different mm-hmm. and I'm doing it and, and you're making successful. it work. Yeah. And so that I think those yeah. lessons that we're teaching our children are really um, invaluable. I agree because I think as moms, we make it work no matter what, Mm -hmm. all day, every day. Mm -hmm. And maybe our children wouldn't see that in just a normal setting. Mm -hmm. But when you own your own business, it's Mm -hmm. a little bit more of an in-your-face example that they can do anything. Absolutely. Do you have any... um, software that you're using or programs that uh, it's just, I don't know, it's helping your business be more efficiently run. It's running smoother. You're using it maybe for your, your bookings or I don't know, some, some kind of a program that's helping you manage everything. Yeah. Um, I mean, square, square, we do Uh, use square. Yeah. Um, I I don't know what how people do without it. Yeah. To be yeah. honest. I mean, well, cause you know, we, whenever we can use other small businesses, sure. um, and partner with other small businesses. And I think a lot of people use square and it's just, mm-hmm. it, it's easy. It's yeah. easy for us. It's easy for clients. Yeah. And I think that's what we like. Right. People like to just be emailed an invoice, emailed a yeah. contract. Everything's there. Yeah. yeah. So you're and doing your contracts and your invoices through square. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I use square for my invoices 
And I had a different website. I'm using Wix. I was actually looking at Square, mm-hmm. and I wound up going with Wix. But I had used WordPress. I had somebody design my site okay. at the mm-hmm. beginning, mm-hmm. and I felt like I needed a computer science degree to be able to update it myself <laughs> just on the back yeah, end. Yeah. It was too much. So right, right. Square and Wix, they were yes. very similar. Yeah. Um, I feel like that has been a godsend, being able mm-hmm. to edit my own website. And it, yeah. it keeps me on my toes because when something, you know, new inventory comes in, right. I don't have, have the to quick have. access. I can put it up right. and I don't yeah. feel like, oh my God, I don't yes. even know how to get on here and do this. Yes. Um, I started using 17 hats last year okay. for my contracts. Oh, okay. Um, and that has been very helpful. Okay. I know some people use HoneyBook. Yes. Mm-hmm. I was just hearing um, from another woman that I spoke to. She uses uh, another, it's, a, it's like a small business. Mm. It's made for small businesses oh, okay. and it is a small business oh, that came okay. up with this. I'll have to... Um, yeah see if I could like, I'll send you the information, yeah, but yeah, it sure. seemed like something to look into because they yeah. deal specifically with companies that are like yours and our right. and mine. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. It's inventory. So mm-hmm. when okay. something is rented, it shows up in your inventory as being out. Okay. You know? So okay, I, cool. I thought that's definitely yeah, something that I want to look into. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah. Acuity yeah. is another one that I, I've heard folks talk about. Okay. So there's lots of different yeah. things out there. Right. Just always curious. Yeah. You yeah. Know, what is it that people are using right. in what yeah. works? Yeah. So yeah. Square is like a one-stop yeah. shop for you. Yeah, we use Square, yeah, for most of that. Um, but for our website, we do use Squarespace. And okay. Like you say, it's easy yeah, to... Definitely. Yeah, like edit it real fast yeah. when you need to. And they had it's templates quick. on there. Yeah. You, know, you could, so I thought that was right. really cool too. Yeah. This was the same way. Madison's yeah. really good at all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you do. Yeah. <laughs> Hard on ourselves, but you know. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I, I feel like, like what you said, when you have, um, a, you know, business that's co-owned the way that you have, it's, it's really smart to lean on each other, you know, for yeah. the mm-hmm. different strengths that Absolutely. you're bringing to the table. For we do that. <laughs> um, so with your background in events, mm-hmm. so do you do event planning as well? Absolutely. Oh, so you yeah. do yep. that as well. Yep. Full service event planning, okay. day of coordinator. Oh, you yep. do? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Could you explain to us like what's the difference between the full on event mm-hmm. planning and the day of? Yeah. So full mm-hmm. service event planning, we are with you every step of the way from really the beginning of your event, okay, they would contact us and we help you find your venue, find all your vendors, um, you know, help you plan all of the yeah, event. That's so helpful. Um, and then obviously as it, you know, gets closer to the event, we're there, sure. you know, to help with the scheduling and, and mm-hmm. we really handle everything. And okay. on the day of we're there, you know, to make sure that it's a seamless event. Yeah. That's full service event planning. Mm-hmm. Um, day of coordinator, which is very popular mm-hmm. nowadays, mm-hmm. and it is more popular than full service event planning for mm-hmm. us too. Yeah. Uh, we work with them, um, more like two to three months leading to okay. their event. Mm-hmm. So they already have their venue. They have their vendors picked mm-hmm. out and we then take over. Mm -hmm. And then we introduce ourselves to the vendors. We work with the vendors and we're just kind of there in that last, you know, few months leading up just to kind of take it off of their plate. And then on the day of there Mm -hmm. for really as little or as long as they want us. So for a wedding, typically we're there more of the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for, if it's just like an event, a, a kid's birthday party, it's more just to get them set up. Okay. Right. All right. That's cool. So, it's um, all Kayla. Kayla's really, you know, yeah, yes, all that experience. That, <laughs> yeah. So. That definitely helps that she's bringing that to the table. Yeah. So uh, w- who are the kinds of couples that would do like the full service event planning mm-hmm. versus they just need the day of coordination? Like, are these couples that you think, um, I don't know, they just like to be hands-on, I guess, yeah. as, as they're planning uh, their event and then kind of like relinquish a little bit of that? Toward the end? I mean, to be honest, there's a financial distinction. Gotcha. Um, I would say our full service clients. Okay. You can tell that they're used to working with event planners and they they give it all up. Yes. Yes. And they just tell you, this is what I want. And then we see them on the day of. No, I mean, we we communicate with them, but (laughs) they're very much so not hands on. We present them options. They pick. We'll talk to you next month, you know, and I mean, they're probably our favorite clients (laughs) who give us full creative, you know, control. Yeah. Um, but more of your today's brides are the day of coordinating. Okay. They like weddings. being involved. Okay. I mean, 
with Pinterest and TikTok and right, right. <laughs> I know. and the venues, they really help you out, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. These venues are really full service a mm -hmm, lot too. Mm -hmm. So they get you set up. They have vendor lists and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. They just want somebody there in the day of to take that stress off of them. Mm -hmm. So all those little fires that happen. And if you're a bride, trust me, they will happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we're there to put them out okay. and that you can just enjoy your day, getting your hair and makeup done and yeah. not have yep. your phone going off. Yeah. That makes total sense. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I could see why you're offering uh, both of those services. Yes. Yes. And that, I mean, that's great that you're catering to the folks that just want to be hands off. And then the folks mm -hmm. that want to be part of that process. But like you said, really just want some of that help to make sure things run smoothly exactly. right. on, on the day. Yep. Okay. Uh, it's funny you mentioned Pinterest because I feel like <laughs> everybody has a Pinterest board yep. or they send you, right? I mean, I'm sure this happens to you. Oh yeah. This is the look I'm going for. <laughs> yeah. And they send you something and then you start talking budget and they're like, but our budget is $400. Yeah, right. I'm like, yeah, well that, sure. that would probably be like the delivery. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. That doesn't. Yes. So it, it's, yeah. it's a blessing. But it's also, I think it uh, contributes to sticker shock. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, when you actually do give someone mm -hmm. a quote for yes. what it is that for they're sure. showing you. Yeah. Um, so I, I like Pinterest. I, I like when people have inspiration mm -hmm. photos, mm -hmm. but I always try to make sure I ground them a little bit and yes. tell them like, realistically, th this is for a $5,000, sure. yep. you know, yes. tablescape yeah. here I, that you just right. showed yeah. me. So I feel like we're, we're pretty honest with yeah, that. Madison's like, we're good with that. really <laughs> upfront with okay. people like, you know you show us this picture, it's going to be this much. Yeah. And we understand you have a budget, you know, right. we don't get offended I know. by that. Mm -hmm. You know, that's your budget. We all have a budget. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, but we're very upfront and honest with that's people. Great. And I, I think I've just gotten there. It took me a little bit of time because you start questioning, well, am yes. I charging too much? Mm -hmm. Maybe I should charge less. Yes. Mm -hmm. So for me yes. and part of that learning, I think mm -hmm. I'm just now at that point where mm -hmm. I, I yes. can do what it is you say you're doing. Yeah. Yes. Th what you showed me is this price. This right. is what we can do it right. for. Mm -hmm. If you know, yeah. maybe we're just not yeah. the right fit for each other. Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. Right. That's like the, yes. the polite way of saying right. it. Right. Yeah. And that's where we balance each other because yeah. I'm more of a yes man. And Madison <laughs> is just very honest with people yeah. and she values our worth. Yeah. And I appreciate her for that yeah. because mm -hmm. it is true. It takes a lot of work to do absolutely. what we do, but also Madison lately will, when she's communicating with a client, she'll say, send us you know, an mm -hmm. inspo pick mm -hmm. and we'll tell you what that costs. Right. And then you tell us your budget and we'll work Make somewhere. Work something out. Yeah. Exactly. Right. And, and again, if, if we're not the right fit, then that's okay too. Right. Yeah. But we yeah. do also go back and forth. Like, oh, should we lower our prices? Yeah. I feel like that's just yeah. every, it's, always, it's always like the question. Yeah. I think. Right. Yeah. Right. Am I doing this right? You know, mm -hmm. and then I see these great, um, you know, inspirational quotes about, you know, <laughs> people don't bat an eyelash at spending, you know, $800 on a, I don't know, a Gucci bag. Yeah, so right. Know yeah. your worth. And you're like, yeah. that's right. Yeah, exactly. You know? yes. And you feel like that for a short <laughs> right. period of time right. until someone tells you, I think your prices are dropping. And you're yeah. like, oh, maybe or, not. Yeah. Like, oh, my prices. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit of a struggle. Yeah. I, In the beginning, we did that. Yeah. But I feel like that's also what differentiates us with a small business is that we're not Starbucks. That's that right. is going to charge you. That's right. Out yeah. the law, mm -hmm. wazoo for a coffee. Mm -hmm. So. It is that balance that, yeah. 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 Or why can't you, you know, why isn't it free delivery? Well, again, because I'm, I'm not right. Amazon, you know, yeah, or right. not Walmart. <laughs> have, right. you, have you seen gas prices lately? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I know. Um, so what, like what's next for the party girls? Like what's on the horizon? Yeah. So our dream would be to own a venue okay. one day. Yeah. So that's our future yeah. Yeah. goal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's our long-term goal. Sure. Yeah. I would say short-term goal. We discuss, we discuss every beginning of the year. We talk about, you know, what we want to accomplish this year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, we definitely want to do what we're doing right now, mm -hmm. connect with more small businesses and mm -hmm. outreach more. Mm -hmm. Um, we've been really fortunate with social media that yeah. people find us. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, if mm -hmm. you want to grow your business, you got to get out there and do. put your name out yep. more. So yeah. mm -hmm. we're doing that more, Good. you know, reaching out to other businesses mm -hmm. and collaborating. And then, yeah, a venue is on the horizon. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Same. <laughs> I feel the same way. I mean, I'm, I'm at the point now where, you, you know, expanding, growing, it's, it's mm -hmm. definitely something that I'm looking into. Mm -hmm. um, I, I like that you mentioned goals. Do you actually like sit down and write out goals? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
That's, yeah. that's a really smart idea. We even do idea. like a vision board. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, the at beginning the beginning of every the, year. Yeah. That's really cool. I yeah. love that yeah. process. Yeah. I've heard of people doing that. And you know, you say, oh, I've got goals. They're yeah. rattling around. In your to, brain. In your brain. Write yeah. them down. With a million other things, right? right? As right. a small business owner. Yeah. But yeah. The, the fact that you actually sit down, you write yes. them out, you do yeah. a vision board. That's really, that, yeah. that's cool. I love that. That's what does help us out. Um, making lists. Yeah. That, that keeps us organized. Yes. Yeah, I love that. All right. So I want you to walk me through the process, right? I'm looking to book your services. Mm -hmm. Where do I go? What do I do? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> we would prefer you to go to our website yes. and, and fill out an inquiry well, form. form yes. So that's right uh, on your website. Yeah. Yes. And what is your website? Uh, www.thepartygirlsde, as in Delaware.com. Gotcha. Um, and everything is that. Everything is yep. the Party Girls okay. DE. So okay. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Facebook. Yep. website. Okay. Um, and like Madison said earlier, we're all about consistency mm -hmm. and everything being cohesive. So all the information you find on social media, same information you'll sign, find on our website. So we do prefer that you go to our website mm -hmm. because that way you can see everything. We are an open book. Yeah. Our pricing is there. Mm -hmm. The details of what that package right. or yeah. that, uh, service saves is, time, is right? There. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, and then once they fill out an inquiry form, you know, we reach out to them mm -hmm. via email. If it's a straightforward bounce house, they know the date, they know the time it's all done, you know, yeah. through mm -hmm. email. Mm -hmm. Um, if it's somebody wants to book us for a wedding, mm -hmm. obviously we'll schedule a call with them and sure. go over all the details. Right. Okay. Um, but people reach out to us on Facebook, Instagram. Instagram. Yes. No worries. Yeah. <laughs> we'll respond to you yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yes. Somehow, <laughs> some way, right? You'll get yes. the message. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I'm going to bring us back to the question that I started with. Okay. Signature drink. You can do one drink. You can do two since there are two of you and you've got your own <laughs> styles and personalities. <laughs> A drink or drinks that embodies what you think the party girls is all about as a business. Yeah. Well, we said the party girls sangria. We did already think of that. Okay, yeah. I love it. Yeah. Um, you're going to have to say what's yeah. all Yeah. Well, we, we both like to drink Moscato. <laughs> okay. So that would be the base. And we're having Moscato. We're having yes. Moscato. Yes, <laughs> so that would be the base and just, you know, lots of fruit in mm -hmm. Moscato and, uh, Madison said, you know, cherry on top is a garnish because that's how we like to see ourselves yeah. in the event business world. Uh, Cherry on top to your event. Yep. I love that. All right. Well, yeah. I'm going to lean in for a toast. What shall we toast to? Uh, uh, successful 2024. Yes. And yes. collaboration. For all, yes. Yeah. For I am all so glad businesses. to actually be sitting down with yes. you. Yes. I mean, I followed you for a I while. Know, it's so nice to meet you in person. I know. Yes. It is nice, yeah. right? And you feel like you know the person. For sure. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You, you see them. You're liking yep. each other's posts uh -huh. and commenting. Absolutely. So yeah. I'm, I'm really grateful that you decided to, you know, accept yeah. the invitation and sit down yeah. with yeah. me today. All right. So success. Collaboration. Yes. Cheers. Good Cheers. Coming down the pipe. Cheers. <laughs>